Welcome back. I'm going to give a little bit of just a kind of a rundown talk why I go do some of the things that I got to do. And I just want to say thank you to all our new subscribers. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, but you are here all the time, thank you for being here and thank you for watching. My name is Jamie. My husband is Billy. That's what he goes by. And we bought our property here in 2020 when COVID was going on. We bought this house on pictures only. I was able to come and actually see the house when the inspector came to inspect it. I brought my mother-in-law my mother-in-law along so we could actually see the house. Um, I was very pleased. I I love this place. Our property here is just over 10 acres. It was completely wooded. Now, it is almost completely like filled in, as you can see, full leaves. We bought this property and signed paperwork on it on June 5th of 2020. When we actually came here, there was just barely the driveway that you could see. Stay down. Um, just barely the driveway. Come on, Max. And um, with that being said, we've had to have some trees taken out because we do have animals. Um, we had one Mustang who wasn't available to be picked up yet because of COVID. Um, I actually picked her up on my 40th birthday in 2020, and with that being said, we, we had dairy goats at the time, but they were at my mother-in-law's house. She was willing to let us keep them there, but we had to get some trees taken down, so we thought, well, we had some value here, which we still have value here, but... Right now the prices are really down and we are trying, come on Max, <clears throat> we are doing everything that's been done here on our own, everything but the barn that we had put up. Max, come on, Max, come on. <clears throat> Get in there. Good boy. Um, and we we do this because this is what we love. We love the fact that we live in the woods, but at the same time, we want to have our own homestead farm, whatever you want to call it, to grow your own foods, meaning meats have your own milk from our dairy goats and grow your own veggies and fruits and then forage for what your forest gives you. There is so much food here that you can live off your land with no problem. But my thing is, is that my husband works long hours at his own job that he's worked there for like 19 years now and he puts in long hours then he comes home if he is not wore out and it's not too late but thankfully the days are longer now but even then just say he gets home at seven o'clock and we eat lunch or eat dinner i should say not lunch and then we're done. It's 8 o'clock. We have about an hour and a half of daylight left. Sometimes my husband's like, it's not worth it to have to get everything out, like the chainsaws, and make sure, you know, everything's fill them up and all that good stuff. Or get the skid steer out and have to try to do some groundwork or whatever it might be we have to do. And then we have to just do all this ourselves and this has practically been 
everything ourselves here. Of doing everything that we have done here has been us. Yes, we've had two kids that were living here. One, she moved out because she's going to be 20 this year. And then, you know, we just have another one who's home, but I share custody with my ex. So he's here every other week and he don't really do a whole lot here, but that's okay. I got to pull this hose over a little more. I got to go fill up tanks. And this is like stuff that I do here. I try to do some of the stuff. If I can manually do it on my own without having to have to have the help of my husband, I do do that. I have a autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and I I hurt on days. I was taking oh about twisted my ankle. I was t taking around 22 pills a day and a shot back in 2008 and I've worked myself up till last year of now not even taking anything that is prescribed for a doctor or from a doctor I should say subscribed from a doctor or um, Alright, I'm at the end of my hose. Now I'm going to come back this way. So it's along the fence here. Fencing, for instance. This right here, five foot tall. We've got seven foot T-posts in the ground here to make it five foot tall. This was not cheap. This is not a very big pin. It holds four of our horses. Our plan is to actually clear the back five acres of our property off, make it horse pastures into four different sections. So that's two horses per section. And um, everything, everything costs money. That right there, that's eight foot tall and that was custom built. That was almost three grand. I mean, the barn, for instance, our barn right there. We didn't build that, but we paid for it. And I have a video on that where they did that in eight hours. Those guys come out and put that barn up in eight hours. It was amazing. But we paid for it. Everything else, these huts, they're, they're like $1,500 a piece. And we've got one, two, three, four of them. That, I mean, add it up. It's, everything takes money out here. Everything. Taking trees down. It takes about, my husband, if he takes, I'll show you a good example of a tree that I know that he's done. See this cherry tree right here? That size cherry tree? My husband has taken one of those down that was out there in the front of the property. Um, took it down, sawed it, and chopped everything out of it. And it took him about four hours to do that. The man was wore out, yes. But he can still do it. My husband will be 52 this year. And just can work as hard as any other young guy can work, if not harder. And like he said, no, nobody in their 20s or 30s can outwork my husband, or even in their 40s. He'd put his paycheck, the paycheck on it. And I believe that because my husband is one of the hardest working men I've ever seen in my life. Hard working. And with that being said, I was like, where's mama at? She's gone. But yeah, it, it's all... Everything that we do and everything we've done here has cost us money, time, but in the end, when we can say that this is completed and we did this ourselves 
that will be the most rewarding most rewarding project goal that we can say is finally checked off and sit back and watch but even when you can get everything like this done say say we can get this completed done i told my husband i think it's about another three years he says no he thinks it's about five so we'll see but anyways just to have this all done and be able to sit back on our porch or in our relaxing area where our gazebo and, and fire pit and everything's going to go. I just feel like our work will never be done here because there's always stuff to have to be done. There will be fencing that need to have to be fixed. There might be other things that have to be mended. There might be, you know, uh, trees that came down that will have to be cut up and taken care of. There's always something to do when you're on a farm or a homestead or ranch or whatever it might be and with that being said it's just life life as a homesteader rancher farmer is hard you have to you have to want to do this you got to have the will you got to have the mindset you got to have it all and when you finally get to where you need to be isn't that nice no more rabbit cages in here Man, do I got my work cut out. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean this barn now, clean the walls off. I got this side cleaned, but that side needs to be cleaned off. All this poop in here needs to be cleaned out, and then we can start dry pouring. That is a goal. That is a goal that I want done, and we're going to dry pour little sections of this in this barn. And my plans are to have water ran out here, and then my husband said he's going to put in a small... Um, dry well so when I wash my equipment for my goat milking stuff um, it can just be drained right down into the dry well I'm going to love it when I get my barn back for my goats and then we're going to have to start just rebuild the herd again you know because everything happens for a reason I have a bird that has a nest up there and that box, she flew out and almost hit me a couple different times in my head. Um, growing a garden, it, it's hard. It, it takes time and maintenance. I can say that the hours my husband and I have put into this farm since we've had it, and we're going on four years this year, we've probably put in... Uh, countless hours I, I can I can honestly say it because I'm here working during the day while he's at work and then when he comes home from work if if it's calling see I'm, I got so much going through my mind right now I forgot that I need to take the hose over and water Captain and Meg um, it's just more and more things that have to be done and that being said, I I just thought I would share this video for those that are new and might not understand and come in and think, well, you know, this place, you know, it's, it's all right, but it's a work in progress. That's what I'm trying to get at. We're not finished here, nor will we be done in another three to five years. But with that being said, we're working hard at it. And each day that we can say that we've checked something off or completed something, because we got many projects going on, that is for sure many, pro many, many, many projects going on. Looking at Jill, she's acting a little funny. Just a little bit. Oh, they don't even need water. She's acting just a little different. I'm not sure what's going on with her. Hi, 
Jill. What you doing, Mama? Huh? What you doing, pretty girl? You want to say hi? You want to say hi to everybody? Hmm? You need a good brushing, don't you? Yeah, you just need a good brushing, girl, don't you? Yeah, you do. You need a good brushing. Not sure what you were eating over there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Jill. And the big, big long ears. Yes, the big long ears. We gotta get her another friend, don't we, Jill? Try to get her another friend. Probably be another wild burrow. That's what we're hoping for, anyways. But. Uh, does Jill's need to be filled? No. I know the fours probably does, and then. I'm pretty sure the boys have to have be filled too, but I just want to say thank you guys. Those that watch every day, that come back, that are committed, thank you. Because this is a commitment too. This is our commitment to make this property our own. And we don't make a whole lot off of this channel. We don't. We're kind of small. We're, we're still small. And that's okay, because we'll grow when God says we'll grow. And we will get things done when God allows that. And that's something else I just want to say. You know, we, we as people here all should be thankful for what we have, because it's all was given to you or me or whoever <clears throat> by the grace of God. And there's a lot of people that don't realize that. I'm thankful for what we have here, very thankful. And I know that with my husband's hard work and my hard work, every day, this will eventually be exactly how we wanna see it. And I hope that you guys will come along and watch it as it changes. Thank you guys for being here. I got gnats flying in my face. That's the lovely about farming and living in a farm, homestead, in the woods. You got bugs galore. So thank you guys again. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.